I'm just gonna say Basulang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basulang. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we have? Okay, this is a Sauvignon Blanc, mm -hmm. right? Fine. Um, Sauvignon Blanc is Sorry. yeah one of the most well-known varietals all, all over the world in terms of a white wine. Okay. Right. Um, Sauvignon Blanc. Now, as far as I know, you please don't quote me, but as far as I know, all wines are basically white. I see. What they get red wine from is basically, yes it's a red grape, but they lie on the skins. I see. So they keep it on the skins and that gives the color. Mm -hmm. So if you, for, for example, this pink Sauvignon Blanc is 1% Pinotage. So it lied on the skins just very, very quickly, just to give that salmon -y color. And that, they call it a pink Sauvignon Blanc. Mm -hmm. So, but Sauvignon Blanc, typical is your citrus flavors that you get i don't know what you can taste on the nose or smell well, i just get the asparagus probably it's a more guava. yeah guava and it's more your your um mm. greener type of citrus right citrus. with sauvignon blanc shannon is tend to be more fruity but if it comes from a hot weather area like wellington or robertson or um, the Northern Cape, Uppington, mm -hmm. then it has more sugar, so it tends to be more fruity. But if it comes from a like a Elgin or a Walker Bay, which they don't really have Sauvignon Blanc, but mm -hmm. some of them do, but they're more well known for their Pinot Noirs and stuff. So, because it's cool climate. Yeah. Then it tends not to be as acidic and not as sweet. So... This is not too bitter. <laughs> Not too bitter yeah. It's fruity. But it's quite acidic if you can taste it on mm. the back of your... Normally I'm going to do it on camera, but it's actually horrible, but... You've got <laughs> yeah, take this off. Watch the move. Mm. And then, the first time it drips, you can taste the... You count the acidity. One elephant, two elephant, uh. three elephant. Quite acidic. So... Yeah, no, this will make me give a... Yeah, oh. so, and then, what is the tannins? <laughs> it's a bit lighter. Yeah, yeah. Mm. that's not strawberries. Some yeah. Pretty berry of some sort. Um, strawberry. So, and sometimes, I mean, it was about four weeks ago, I had a tasting at Bosman Winery in, in Stellenbosch in Wellington. And they gave us a wine that I, it's a Palomino. But no, this sorry, one for example, Palamativa. Italian varietal, mm -hmm. and they break off the, 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 the stem at the bunch and let the bunch dry and sort of swelt mm -hmm. on the vine itself. And then they get a lot of bachis and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, small bottle, 500 ml, 350 rand a bottle. But it is because it's such an expensive process yeah. to do it. But you, I put it to my nose and I was like, I said, guys, <laughs> no, 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 it's not. not <laughs> but what is so it's the smokiness yeah. that came off it's it. It's not trellis you vineyard. Drank it, swirl it, and you swallow it. It's like, oh, man, if I had the money, I'll, because it's an after dinner wine. Mm. It's, what is it? Flavor no, of the wine but the it's really is, is either a of tongue how much is in book of they 50 rand a bottle 50 rand these ones are 60 that one is also 60 or 65 65 yeah no, no, sorry these ones are 70 and the yeah. um 65 or 60 yeah so this is considered as uh, average Yes. Affordable. Mm. It's the best, I would say the best quality wine for the price. For the price. Yeah, because that's... Money for value. That is, mm. Tienes van mm. is the owner and the winemaker. That's his whole philosophy. Yeah. I mean, they that they are quite, quite busy. I mean, there's almost every day there's a container leaving for overseas. Yeah. They now, I think, supplying 38 countries, exporting to 38 countries. Um, and it was, I think, 14, 14 years ago. He started the company with about, I think, 1,200 Rand between him and his wife. <laughs> wow. And they started working from home. 
and from an old little cupboard thingy and now they've got he's, he's got a foreign investor um, but he's just making really good quality wine for the price that's why they are you'll see here on the bottle they one of the top 10 producers in South Africa at the moment yeah there. top 10 yeah producers. top 10 so this one goes well with the snook fish yeah, for the snook, I would say yeah, any of the whites really, okay. but for for the snook for today with your apricot and your buttery and whatever, I would suggest the chardonnay. Chardonnay. Yeah. Mm. And no, 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 I didn't have a, I didn't bring a chardonnay because it's sometimes a bit too strange. Yeah, you have to get used to it. But what we get nowadays in South Africa is a lot of producers are making unwooded chardonnays mm. because back in the day. They used to kill Chardonnay with wood. Okay. And I mean, every glass looked like a urine sample. <laughs> you know, it was just too intense. It's like a bottle of Oros. It's like, holy shit. And then you're just basically drinking a tree. Yeah. So that, you still have that, but they've turned it down a bit. And now they're making insane un unwooded Chardonnays as well. So you can, you can also trace the, the wood here in wine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's all—it's either French oak, American oak, or is um, we've got you know, Russian oaks as well. Um, well, I know my my supplier or my contact in in Russia. They actually supply France if France runs out of oak. So it's not French oak; it's Russian oak. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. So the next one I'll. Do is the pink Sauvignon Blanc. Pink Sauvignon. Yeah. So this one is insanely good for sushi oh, yeah? and stuff. Yeah. Because um, they advertised it when they launched it. I saw it on Facebook just after eight in the morning. Mm -hmm. I phoned them. I said, "Do you have this in stock?" Yes, now. Oh, cool. I said, "Okay." So I drove there. I got a case. And I went and I bought sushi and we had it for lunch. Oh man, wow. no, it's really good. Maybe it's like sake for Japanese. Sake with sushi. This one is a. Yeah, but sake is really bitter and it's. Yeah. I just can't enjoy sake sometimes. Gotta be like The video is going to be shaking. You're gonna have to edit because look. Thank you. It's a bit heavy. I can taste, like, uh, there's, there's like grapes, a trace of grapes. There's a <laughs> Diana, okay. This one is definitely, if you, well, I picked it up immediately, the strawberry flavor. And um, the, the first one he made was actually, for me, it was a little bit bitter, okay. but it was very nice. This is the second batch. And he actually said he put in more sugar, but it became just more flavorful. So it's not really sweeter. So yeah, it's just you know. Very sweet. Yeah. Compared to the, I mean, compared to the solid Sauvignon and this one. It's not as, as, as acidic. Mm, but the acidic, I can taste it. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I had... Which one you prefer? I think the second one. Yeah, which one yeah. so far? Shannon. Second Shannon. Shannon. Corner. Yeah. And Shannon, an Shannon at this too. moment is also... Really? Yes, sir. Okay, so you're going to join now... Not halfway, but... Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> But this one, if you have that piece of sash <laughs> salmon sashimi, they remember. What, what is it called? It's a. Uh, it's a salmon and then it looks like it's a battery in your mouth. Nice. And then it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. For me, when it's not. South African. Uh, uniquely South African varietal is Pinotage. Pinotage. Yeah, Pinotage is created by Abram Perold. Um, back in the day, I think it's, but it was Pinotage Day yesterday on your birthday. Yes. And then 
Pinotage is made from Pinot Noir and Cinso grapes mm. that they sort of mix together. <laughs> um, and then he created the Pinotage rootstock or the Pinotage grape. So, and that's uniquely South African. Nobody else, well, they have it now in the world, but I mean, that's our unique. Um, a lot of our. A lot of our grapes um, or, or the varietals come from France, mm. you know, over here. Um, Chenin Blanc is the most planted, this one, Chenin Blanc, is the most planted um, and the biggest uh, grape varietal in South Africa. I think we've got 60% of our vines are Chenin Blanc. So you've got the Chenin, right? Yeah. Or your, I think, if I remember correctly from a class I had yonks ago. Not necessarily st all stone fruit, but your guavas, your peaches, your pears, your mm. okay. and very, very quickly. Yeah. So, one day. Yeah. I want to try to Oh, right. <laughs> I don't want to have a whole glass of wine. You can, there's a spittoon, but nobody spits. Drinking age is 16, right? Oh? Actually, 18. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, if you yeah, but in our family, it starts at 13. <laughs> in my family, it starts at 5. Oh, yeah, exactly. So cool. <laughs> exactly. You wine lover? If you grow up in the wine industry, you're in the cellar at the age of 5. It's like, oh, this smells nice. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, I'm so <laughs> <I'm> fucking fire. <laughs> yeah. It's good for a Sauvignon. I'm not a fan of Sauvignon. I normally yeah. will drink Chardonnay if I drink the, a white. Yes. Okay. But the original Sauvignon is a lot more acidic. Yeah. This one is more turned down. I like it, yeah. But I would like you to try the Bushvine Shannon as well. No, no. I'll okay. just put it in. Cool. Pull it down a bit. Only my so. <laughs> we all, there you go. We all will be ring home and then we leave your car, your car here. Okay, till okay. yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Salute, Pa. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Feel and done. Feel and done. Feel and done. Feel and done. Which one do you like? So, are you from Brazil? 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 Brazil. Brazil. Okay. Brazil. Oh, Lekker. Pink Sauvignon. Pink, Pink Sauvignon Blanc. It's a winery in Wellington. In terms of the volume that they do. Kiara, you like sushi? And this yes. one is about is 65 sushi? rand or 70 rand a bottle. Wow. So it's not. Just I mean, that's why when the stop. foreigners come over with their pounds and their euros <laughs> to South Africa, they get sloshed immediately because yeah. it's like two euros. <laughs> yeah. Not enough to not have to No, it's a limit here. No, it's a limit. Oh my word! This is Indonesia, different actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of this one? Do you like it? Have you tasted wine before? You have? Does your dad know about it? <laughs> Good dad. Good dad. <laughs> she was forced to taste it, that's why. <laughs> no, that's good. What do you think? It's good. It's light. It's good. It's not a heavy and it's not special. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the girls the girls will probably like this one a lot. Can you guess the ingredients? I'm gonna change that for you, okay? You're gonna love it. So fight because you can smell it. Fruity? Little bit fine. Yeah, yeah. Fresh. Fresh. Right? What is this? 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 Yeah. Oh, but I think it's an undecided It's an entry level <laughs> for me. Yeah. When I got arrived in South Africa, formula wasn't here yet. Yeah. So, so what I 
when I started, I got on the on the wine journey because I mean she's in my family. She has to drink wine. Oh my word! So when I started on a late harvest, which is a quite sweet wine, and then she went over to Shannon. She took Sonia Blanc, went to Shannon, and then all of a sudden she went to. Um, to Indonesia with Paharman, Rukmanadi, okay. um, Baratur, and I went out in Bandung. And I, she had like with Paharman probably about three bottles of Chardonnay, and she came back and I bought, I kid you not, probably 24 bottles of Chenin Blanc. And she came into the flat, she sat down, I said, honey, would you like some Chenin Blanc? She said, oh, don't you have Chardonnay? Uh, like, my palate was changed. I'm like, what? <laughs> so once you are hooked, they will not know the difference. I see. If it's if, if it's not a wine aficionado, a wine guru, yes. but even the wine gurus, I mean, the one winemaker at our wine show, gongs ago, he's if sitting I, there and he tasted the wines and he said to the guy that's presenting and he said, John, this one is definitely a food wine. I'll pay 130 rand for it. And it was actually a Columbar from Orange River Cellars at 38 Rand a bottle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you got it completely wrong. So, have you had some of this? You yeah, have to try that before. Yeah. 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 Your wife is a wine drinker. So, yeah. so now you tag along. Okay? And now you arrive at the stand, but you know the wine. The best chef in the world. Gordon Ramsay kalah ni. Because we can probably power Botswana, Namibia, and Zimbabwe. Well, we're already powering them, but we're not benefiting from it. But how does it work now? Uh, okay. yeah, okay. It's just a crazy. Yeah. 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 So, I saw a video clip. Yeah. 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 Like, so like, um, so so like yeah, it's now that you start to move on. But there's no way of recycling those wings because it's so hard. Okay, leave it there and play a little bit and come. Yeah. Yeah. Brass Dam we have here in Krabo, uh, Elgin. Yay. You don't take it by the top because sometimes it turns and, and turns and it's a bit stiff. Just go like that. I didn't know that. At the bottom. Then it automatically opens. Okay, it's a cool yeah. one. I'll try I don't know if it's at a if it's an alcoholic I <laughs> tip, but <laughs> probably <laughs> probably <laughs> after you have opened many bottles. Yeah, the, the owner of the Did you get that? Yes. I want this video in here, but only after it's edited. <laughs> yeah. Don't put that in, by the way. So let's try. This is straight cabernet. A cabernet, also a lighter. It can be heavy, but this is a lighter style wine. Um, and you want to try? Not red. You want the better, better pomegranate marula again? Oh, she's already had a full. Yeah. Must work on that, huh? No. Yeah, wine people need to eat. Come on. I eat enough without the wine. <laughs> oh, I know she looked at me thinking, you've already ate a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a wooded wine. It's, there, there's no wood contact with this wine. It's just stainless steel tanks. So, yeah. But that brings out the real character of... Light, as you say. Yes. Easy drinking wines. It's not breaking the bank. And this is... I refer to it as swimming pool wine. Mm. If you want to sit around a swimming pool, but m mainly a, a fireplace in winter. Okay. And it's not breaking the bank and it's still a 
It's very good wine. More like a Hollywood movie wine. Uh, maybe Netflix. Or oh, Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Netflix. Very drinkable, easy drink. And it's got a bit of a tannin on the on the side, so it goes dry a bit quickly, and then you taste that vapor of the alcohol. But it's, I don't think, think it's that heavy. What is, is it? it? Easily oh, yeah, it's, well, it's not bad. 13.5%. Oh, okay. yeah. It doesn't, um, how do you say? Yeah. There's some fruits, some fruit. Yeah. Like the persimmon, when it's raw. <coughs> Can take your mouth. It's kind of yeah. tight. Yeah, in Indonesian we do have the word sapat. It's yeah. when it's a raw. It takes all your spit and it goes into one place. Pure care can yeah. do that sometimes yes. because it's it's got that acidity and that strength. Yeah. That's why they blend it a lot, Cabernet with Merlot, because yeah, yeah. you cut that. Yes. Because yeah. a straight Merlot is a bit... It can be good, but sometimes for me it's a bit meh. My brother-in-law <laughs> you know? made pure cat. It's not drinkable. Mm. It binds your mouth too much. It's not pleasant. You need to dilute it, you need to blend so it. So how does, this, how does the, this tasting you've had now is there a vast difference between the Brazilian wines yes. and this one? Yes, totally different. What is the difference? The difference is you are on a arid, dry region. We yes. are on a wet region. Okay. It rains every week by us. Okay. I, uh, our wine is like Italian and French wine. Is it lighter? Lighter. Lighter. Watery. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Not bold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bold and ballsy. Yeah. But so, when I came to South Africa, I was blown away because the wine is strong. It's bold. It's yeah, it's got super, taste, super so character. Much taste. It's got taste, full mm. of taste. Mm. Our wine is like watery. Oil. I think one day, you guys, it's 230 rand a bottle for white wine, cork, wax seal, everything. Beautiful bottle. My thumb goes up and it disappears like that into the bottom. This is pretty much standard b bottle fare you know um, this one is a bit, little bit deeper slightly because you're actually supposed to pour it like that but if you're a sommelier but i'm just a drinker mm. so, so in terms of coffee brazilian coffee brazilian wine and african starbucks and dill Oh, he did them that way. No, definitely. No, I mean, the South African is... Oh, South African? Yeah, Starbucks. Dili. In the Dili, yeah. Yeah. More yeah. like Starbucks. Yeah. Okay. So, took Chenin Blanc. They put it into um, cement tanks. They put it into stainless steel tanks. And they put it into barrels. And then they take those three wines, Chenin's, and they blend it into one wine. A Chenin Blanc. All right, but the only wine that's going to have a difference is the barrel, because steel, not really stainless steel and cement doesn't give you anything to the wine. Not really. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised that that wine is just I don't know. It's just on another level. If I had the money, that's going to be my swimming pool wine, but not at 230 rand a bottle. I want to know how they make this Cabernet like this. Mm. How they manage to make it like this? Do they add water? Do they uh, Probably leave I'll, it well, uh, fermentation process? Is, um, I'll have do, to look. Do they leave it less? I probably have the um, fact sheet on my computer. I'll send it to Aga then she can forward it. Less time on the, on the, on the skin? We're not Every known time. as the Shiraz region. Like Cabernet, Stellenbosch has become known as Cabernet country. Because you get a variety of beers. Have you For tried me. all the wines? White wines tend to be, no. in general, <laughs> a bit more No, I floral, tried the spritzer fruity, and Where you don't get that immediately from red wine. Oh, so what do you think? I mean, if it, that's why you need to decant. I mean, a wine lot of people is not say, my cup of tea. <laughs> but and I like the spritzer You're not allowed more. to decant <laughs> okay. white wine. Yeah. 
that. You can decant the white wine. The rest, I'll work Pour it into your decanter, let it oh, get air, <laughs> and pour it out. Okay, it's thank you. The more yeah, oxygen. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, uh, let me just. Um, I found some interesting things, like, for example, white, white wine that doesn't grow well. Entonces, para ti, pino tinto o siempre el tinto para mí. Pino tinto, sí. Me gusta sí. mucho más. A mí me gusta um, mucho carne. Good, good, good. Con carne, sí, con carne. Con carne también. El blanco. ¿no? Venga, pa. Es un decanter. Oh, I see. Yeah. To give. Or to, to let it breathe okay. like in a half an hour or hour before your guests the older the wine the more time you can give it if you have a 2010 Cabernet Sauvignon you decant and it and even when you pour it you can put an air writer on it so when you pour it it puts bubbles into the wine as well while you're decanting it and it just breathes because older wines needs a bit more oxygen because I've been mm. if you've been stuck in a coffin for 20 years otherwise you need to come out otherwise you don't get the full flavor oh, yeah so you need to decant it to have the full experience yeah so the white wine doesn't age yeah. to age white wines it needs to be what wood do you have use? a lot of sugar do you use it oak? Do you use Normal, yeah normally in South Africa we use uh, majority French oak and American oak. That's the most used in they, barrels. They can't use the, the South African oak. No. It's too porous. Too porous. <laughs>